Hello, and welcome to this Price a Job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the new Orders module in Price a Job. You can use the new Orders module to create purchase orders, work orders, or order requests for materials from suppliers, or any other type of custom order. To access the Orders module, navigate to the Reports tab here in the left-hand pane, and then select Orders. The orders you create are allocated to a specific project, so be sure to select from the Project Selection menu here the correct project for which you wish to create an order. In this example, we'll use the Residential Reno project. And now that we've selected the correct project, we can click here to add an order. To start with, you can change the title of your order however you wish. In this case, we might call this a purchase order. Or we might need a work order, or maybe an order request for materials. However you wish to title your order is up to you. Next, you'll notice that we're being prompted to select a supplier, so we can select the drop-down menu here and select a supplier from our previously populated supplier list. We've already added these suppliers to our database here under the Company tab in the left-hand pane under Suppliers. Here we can add any new suppliers that we want along with all of the details. Alternatively, we can go back to the Estimate tab and select Reports and select Orders and open the order that we're working on. If we wish to address this order to a supplier that's not listed here already, and we don't want to take the time to add all the details under the company supplier pane, we can just click Create New here, and we're given a quick entry form for suppliers. So here we might add Travis Perkins with their address, 3350 High Street, London, and their email address info at mail.co.uk and then save and this quickly adds the supplier to our supplier list if we wish to add more details to the supplier's contact card we can go back to company select the suppliers submenu and here we'll see the new entry here on our suppliers list and we can add all the contact details that we wish now it may be that your version of price of job does not have this suppliers module here under the company tab and the reason for that is you'll need to upgrade to the project management pack to upgrade to this pack, you can go to your account button here and select the drop down menu and select billing. Here you can select shop and choose the project management pack. If you're interested in adding more than one pack, you might consider choosing the all included pack as this does offer substantial savings. For now though, let's head back to price a job and select the reports tab, back to the orders module and select the order that we're creating. For now, this basic supplier information will be sufficient. Now we can start adding items to our order request. And there are a variety of ways to do this. We'll start with just simply clicking here, Add Item. Under the description, we can select that and then enter our description. Perhaps we need screws, 100 by 5 millimeters, box of 200. And we can set the quantity to 3. And we can customize the units. In this case, we could say each or a box or any number of other units here. However, in this case, we'll just stick with each. To add another item, simply click Add Item. In this case, we might add cement, 25 kilogram bag, and a quantity of eight. And we can set the units here to bags. And if we'd like to organize our list of materials, we can click on the drag handles here to reorder our list. And we can continue adding items to our list by using the Add Item button. And this is an easy method to add items, but it is a little time consuming. If we've already prepared an estimate for our project here, all of our materials will already be calculated as part of our estimate. So rather than re-inputting all of these items individually, we can just simply go back to reports, to the orders module, to our order. And rather than adding the individual items manually, we can simply select import. And this brings up a list of all the materials included in our estimate as well as all the labor, plant and tool, and other costs. To add the full list of materials to this order request, we can simply click Select All, and all materials are selected. But you'll notice that many of these materials may have partial amounts, for example, 9.6 units. If we would like to round these units to the nearest whole number, we can select this option here, Round Quantity. And this will be rounded up to the nearest whole unit. If there are any items here that we don't want to import, we can just deselect those. And when we're ready, we can select Import. 
and instantly our full list of estimate materials are imported into our order. And you'll notice because we selected the round quantities that there are no partial amounts. It's a good idea to scroll through your list to see if there are any missing values. In this case, red diesel is missing the unit. So for that, we might select 70 liters. If there are any items that were included that we don't want on the order, we can simply click the bin icon here to remove that from the order. Let's create another order this time. We'll go back to all orders and we'll add a new order. This time we'll call this one a work order. And again, we can import our values. And this time, rather than importing the materials, we'll import the labor and click select all and just review the full list to make sure we want to include everything on this list and then click import. And this instantly imports all of the labor into our work order. You can see that the order number has been automatically numbered and automatically dated with today's date. We can adjust this if necessary. And if we want, we can include a reference number. And if we wish to, we can expand our table below by clicking the select columns icon here. And this gives us the option of showing or hiding the units column, as well as showing or hiding the rate and total column. And this will show us the rates as well as the calculated total. In the case of our order request for materials list, we wouldn't want to show the rate in total because we'll be requesting this of our supplier. So we can hide the column here. Next, we can set the status of this order. So here we can select the drop down menu here and make a note of the status of this order, whether it's been delivered, on hold, delayed, canceled, or awaiting. We'll set this one for awaiting. And we can also customize our logo header by displaying the logo on the left, on the right, or in the center. We'll keep this one on the right. And we also have the option of adding notes to the bottom of our order. So here we can select or deselect the notes option and then scroll down to the bottom. And you can just freeform type in this field, maybe something like, please send price quote. Now we'll take a look at the third way to add materials to our order. We've already added items manually. We've imported them from our quotation. But the third method is to add materials directly from the price of job library. So to do that, we'll click on the library button here in the right hand pane. And then we can search the price of job materials database. For example, we might search cable and we can choose the material from the results displayed. In this case, a 25 meter reel might suffice. And when we click on that, it is added to our materials list here. And we can repeat this for any other materials we need. In this case, we might say sockets and we could add data sockets. We don't need an allowance. So here we will just amend the description to remove the allowance. The database also includes labor estimates, plant and tool and other costs. So under plant and tool, we might request a skip loader. And from the results, we can select a one ton skip loader. And this allows us to add material, labor, plant and tool, and other cost items to our order. Once our order is complete, we have the options to either print the order here, or we can export it as a PDF. Or we can email it directly to the client from within price a job. Here we can modify our subject. and customize the message body. And when you're ready, click send. And if you'd like to send this same request to multiple suppliers, this is easily done by going to the all orders page. And here under the three dots, you have options to either edit this order, which is actually the same as just simply clicking on the order in the menu. Or we can delete this order, or in this case, because we want to send it to multiple suppliers, we want to duplicate it. And this duplicates the order. So now we can either click on this order again, or use the three dots to edit. And here under the supplier dropdown, we'll change the supplier to a different supplier. And now when we click to email this one, this will be addressed to the new supplier along with all of their appropriate contact details. 
And then as the responses for your various orders arrive, let's say we get a response from Travis Perkins, we can click on that order and adjust the status. In this example, we might select on hold. And that is shown here in the all orders page where we can quickly see the status of each of our orders for this project. We might want to change the status, in this case, perhaps on hold. And then we can click add file to upload and store the response here within the order. And add the quote to our order. And then anytime we wish, we can return back to this order and either delete this file or view it by clicking here the PDF icon. This will allow us to either preview the file or download it directly to see the results. And that's how to use the new orders module. Thank you for using Pricer Job.